I think there's four people here today with heart problems, one guy with a defibrillator, one guy that's recovered from cancer, one guy with metal kneecaps, and if he falls down, he can't get back up. In spite of all these ailments, you go in the ice and they all disappear instantly. There is no contact, uh, basically because of the age. So it's an hour and 20 minutes for a five minute break. Obviously, you're not on the ice all the time, but you do get a good amount of ice time. Makes it a good experience for everybody. They diagnosed me with a cancer and then they gave me, well, I said six months to two years to live, so I said, the boots are getting back on, I'm going to enjoy myself if that's all I've got. But I've proved them wrong right enough. That was actually in 2007. Well, I'm 73. So if I can run about to 73, well, somebody's done a lot of good work today. <laughs> Maybe more mature than others, but they don't give any less than 110%, I can assure you. <laughs> There's no quarter asked out there and no quarter given. Although contact is supposed to be verboten, it sometimes happens, you know. We don't have a sin bin, no, no. Just the verbal abuse makes up for the sin bin. <laughs> 19 years ago, I saw the piranhas on STV and uh, I recognised a guy I used to play with as a boy. And they were saying on camera that you don't get such a thing as a fat piranha. And I had just retired and I thought, that's for me. I got involved with the piranhas about 22, 23 years ago. Um, at that time they play, play, uh, played in Paisley. And uh, I just walked across the road. And like this morning, they play very early in the morning. So it allowed me to go play a game, then nip straight across the road uh, into work. And for me, it was all about exercise. But as you got more into the game, you get more involved. And it's been really good since, and I've played ever since then. My dad actually plays every week down here for the Piranhas. Great, great team to be with. Just, just have fun every week. It's good. It's not enough girls that play ice hockey um, at all. Definitely not enough girls that get involved. I've been involved with the Piranhas since their inception back in the days in Paisley. Basically, I used to turn up, tie my dad's good shoelaces, and then after a while, the, the guys let me on. Uh, the camaraderie is definitely the most important part of it. Great institution, great bunch of guys, couldn't be any better guys, and uh, anybody can come. There's a whole gambit of people here come from all walks of life. We no longer play games against other teams because um, they, they won't allow us to play. We couldn't get insurance, they wouldn't insure us because of our age, so we had to abandon that, and the Ice Hockey Federation uh, forced us not to play games. So I feel that the Hockey Federation should be encouraging playing and not discouraging, no matter what your age.